What's up, peeps? My Vips here. Today we got a new device. Yeah, it's highly anticipated. It's from Geekbait. It is the Legend version 2. I got the kit to show you guys. The kit does not come with this tank. This is the Z Max. I just did a full review the other day. Check it out. I figured I'd use it on here. I've been enjoying this tank. But the kit comes with the regular Z tank. Like I said, this is the Z Max tank. Yeah, the Legend version 2. Let's go to the dive down. Let me show you guys everything about it. We'll come back, vape on it. Then I'll give you guys all my thoughts on the Aegis Legend 2. And here's the sample packaging. The Legend version 2 by Geek Vape came in. Inside the packaging for this kit, you get a user manual, a baggie with spare O-rings and a tool to remove the coil, Type-C charging cable, bath salts, spare coil, straight glass, and a Geek Vape Z-Tank. Now, the Z-Tank, I'm not gonna do a review on this or actually show this really in this video. I do have a full review that I did probably like a week ago on this one here. I'll leave a link in the description below. Let's check out the mod. And here is the Legend version two. So platform on here will fit up to a 26 millimeter. You will get a very, very, very slight overhang and that's because of the way it curves here but up to a 26 millimeter for this. As you can see, right in the center is your 510. On the side, it does say Aegis. The other side, it does say Geek Vape. All right, we got the leather thingy going on here. Same design like the original Legend. I will put uh, do a side-by-side. -side. Over here, you're gonna have your battery compartment. It's one of these that you do like that, spring-loaded. Everything feels solid on here. They did a real good job. Waterproof, dustproof, shockproof, and so forth. Positive and negative marked in the inside. Also marked on the battery contact over here. And when putting the batteries in, you're gonna just do one of these, press it down, it'll clip into place. As you can see, all right, battery door does not open up. Over here, check this out, the way they did this. You pull this tab, and right there is your Type-C charge port. But as always, I always recommend charging dual batteries with an external battery charger. But yeah, you do have a charge port there. And you can see, you just press that down. All right, it makes it waterproof. Now, cool feature this, oh, before we look at the cool feature, we have our fire button. Love the fire button on here. Up and down buttons. Now, let's do a little bit more of a zoom in here. Right here, you have a switch. All right. So this switch here, you could lock the device, which is pretty cool. Now you could see it there activated. Now if I press it down, locked. All right, so you basically lock. So th that's awesome. You don't have to do no three clicks, five clicks. You could just lock the device with a simple switch, push it up, and it's unlocked. Pretty cool. Now when you add an atomizer on it, it'll ask you if it's a new coil or old coil. Display power, battery indicators, or wattage resistance, amps, voltage, and a puff counter. And when you do press the fire button, it changes up there and it tells you how many seconds you press the fire button and then goes back to a puff counter. Now, if you press the up button or down button, now down will make the brightness go down, up will make the brightness go up, but you have to press them together with the fire button like that, you see that? So I'm at 100%, like that I could lower the brightness like that. I could raise the brightness. Now, if I press the fire button three times, one, two, three, you're gonna see power got highlighted. You could do your temperature controls here, nickel, stainless steel, titanium. You have your TCRs. Over here, you could do your curves. You have a bypass mode, back into power. Click the fire button. You could lock your resistance for temp control. Click it again, puff counter, press the up button, and you could clear the puff counter. Hard press and now you're ready to vape in power mode. The device is a 200 watt device. When scrolling, it does in 0.5 increments. Keep it pressed, and you're gonna see it's gonna go up to 200 watts. Come on, baby. There you go. And it does round robin. And here's a side-by-side -side with the original Legend. You could see the Legend 2 is much smaller, but the one thing I see with the Legend is you have this rubber that's all around the mod. On this one here, you do not have the rubber all around the mod. You have the rubber here on the bottom and right over here on top. All right, so basically the way I see it is, I'm not gonna do a drop test, a throw test. Obviously this one here is gonna obviously take impact better than this one. They are both waterproof, dustproof, 
But when it comes to shockproof, the original is going to be more shockproof than the new one here, the Legend V2. You could see the design, everything, pretty much they kept it the same. They just shrunk it down and made it a little bit more sexier. And in this video, I'll be using the new Z Max tank route. Been really enjoying this. And there you go. That was the new Aegis Legend version 2 by Geek Vape. Let's go back up on top. Let's vape on it. And I'll give you guys my thoughts. And there you have it. That was the up close of the Legend V2 by Geek Vape. My thoughts, pros, and cons. Okay. Cons with this device. Hmm. I have a, one complaint. Well, the one thing is the bottom, the battery door. As you guys know, I'm not into these types of doors, but it has to be this type of door because of the waterproof aspect for it. But this could be a pro or a con to people. They made the device thin. I kind of, I don't know, like how thick the original Legend was because of the platform. Like the platform, the bottom and the top, actually, where you don't get that wobble. It's stable on the table. This one here, because of how thin they made it, it's a little bit, yeah, I kind of wish instead of it have been rounded the way it is on the bottom, kind of would have liked to have seen it more flat so it would be stable. I'm nitpicking right now, guys. I'm nitpicking on this one here. And another thing, even though for me, I prefer the looks of this one, you know, the frame, the way it's exposed, there's no rubber on the outside. It's the only rubber you're going to have is a little bit here. And on the bottom, this one here, it's all rubber. I'm calling it rubber. It's probably a different name for it, but I'm going to call it rubber, whatever. But when it comes to this thing falling, dropping it, whatever, the sides here are going to take that impact where you have that rubber. On this one here, the sides, it's more of the metal that's all around here. So that'll take. So you're prone to denting this or whatever when dropping it, but it's not gonna break on you. All right, this is something I wanted to mention. Mike, do you have anything else to complain about? Not really. No, I th I like the mod. I like the size of it. It feels great in the hand. It's gonna have to get a pro. The fire button, display, menu system on here. This chipset, no issues at all. Definitely gonna have to get a pro. I like the way they did the Type C. On top, flip that up. That's awesome. It's going to be a pro. Here's a good pro right here. I like that. Where instead of clicking it three times or doing pressing or whatever to lock the device or power it off, flip the switch. Right now it's locked. I can put it in my pocket. Don't have to worry. I like that. And the switch is not something where it's going to switch on its own by using. You actually have to... You know, and it clicks into place. Really, really like that, what they did here. Definitely going to have to be a pro. The device fires right away, which is a pro. Let's have a couple of apes. I got the Z-Max on here. Let's do it. Vape's beautiful. And like I said, the fire button. I like that this type of fire button, the way it just, like, comes out like that i like that it just feels great it's got a nice clicky sound to it which you're gonna have to get a pro all in all pretty good job on the aegis legend version 2 by geek vape in the description below there's no links to this i can't i'm not allowed it's the good old youtube policies i will have links to me mike vapes down below as always that's it i'm done thank you remember be safe and keep on vaping